Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and welcome to Animation Domination. Let's start off with the Simpsons episode, Four Regrettings and a Funeral. The episode is about when beloved Springfielder Chip Davis dies, four residents recall life events that they would like to do over. Among them, Homer bemoans selling a tech stock to purchase a bowling ball, and Marge fears that she's the reason Bart is such a rebellious child. Others wishing for a do-over are Mr. Burns, who recalls a long-ago romance with the lovely Parisienne, and newsman Kent Brockman, who regrets not leaving the local station to take a job with cable news. Four Regrettings and a Funeral was an episode that I thought was good. I enjoyed this episode a whole lot. I enjoyed the storyline, the four characters that were having their regrets. It was really interesting to see their regrets. It had me pulled in. It had me invested in the storylines for the most part. You get to jump in storyline by storyline as the episode's going on. There were some funny moments in this episode. The storyline with Bart doing his pranking is really funny. I mean, come on. It's always entertaining to see the little yellow guy just do his pranking because, well, he's a little troublemaker. But what can you say? I mean, He's Bart. I enjoyed the whole Mr. Burns trying to get his love back. And then I enjoyed how we got to see the news reporter Kent in on this. We don't see Kent have his own uh, storylines a lot in the series. I enjoyed how that was played out. It's just really interesting how the topic re regrets is played out. We all at a point in our lives are going to have regrets. And this episode teaching us about regrets. I was really impressed. My only flaws with this episode is that it could get a little boring and sometimes you could feel like maybe one or two things that happen in each storylines could be a little pointless or are taking a little while to just really get to the point. There were a few times where I felt like one storyline moving to another storyline happened a little bit too fast. I thought the ending of the episode was pretty rushed as well, and it could have been better executed. While it was funny, it was kind of a bit of a letdown because especially of how good the episode was, how interesting it was, how much I was invested in it. Overall, I really enjoyed this episode. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's, it's good. I'm going to crush you hard, crush. Orange. Oh, I am now here to review the Bob's Burgers episode, Seaplane. The episode is about when Linda takes pilot lessons from a perverse teacher known as Upskirt Kurt. So Linda thought date night is getting very repetitive and she wants to try something new. She wants her adventure to be bigger. Bob, he did not want to take pilot lessons with Linda, so Linda decides to just go by herself, and then once Bob hears about this perverse teacher, that's when he and the kids decide to go on a search for Linda and save her. This episode of Bob's Burgers actually really surprised me. I kind of loved this episode. Almost every moment of this episode was just so great to me. The, the storyline was fantastic. There's surprisingly a lot of funny moments in this episode clever moments actually my only issue with this episode are the kids they were getting a little annoying and telling bob what that is like for example one of them said look dad it's a bridge and it's like come on bob could see it in his face that is a bridge clearly in his eyes what a certain thing is what situation they are in and this and they just have to point out every second what it is it's just a little issue I have with this episode, though. The kids aren't as annoying as they are in some of the episodes. Like, dear lord. That's the only issue. This episode really is terrific. I thought the writing is really good. And I like that little pervert teacher that pretends that the plane falls down and gets stranded on the island. I thought it was funny. He was a pathetic loser. And... I was really cracking up watching this Bob's Burgers episode. I just thought it had a nice sense of adventure. I gotta admit, towards the end, the episode was actually a little bit exciting to watch. Like, when the plane was flying up high and the planes had a possibility of crashing to the bridge. I gotta admit, 
It was actually a pretty exciting thing to watch. It kind of turned me off with the kids being annoying and telling Bob what that is. Seeing Linda flying the pilot was a lot of fun to watch as well. And the episode is very well paced, it's very well executed, fantastic writing, fantastic storyline, a lot of very funny moments. Bob was very funny here, very enjoyable to watch. Almost every moment of this episode is amazing. I'm gonna go really high on this one, especially for a Bob's Burgers episode. I'm gonna give Seaplane a 9.5 out of 10. Seriously, it was that good in my opinion. I'm really surprised. This episode of Family Guy is about when Quagmire dates a girl named Sonia who is just as sexually active as he is, so Quagmire has found a female version of himself. Giggity, giggity. At least that's what Quagmire would say to something like that. But things take a turn for the worse when she kidnaps him to be her sex slave. Whoa. So Peter and Joe and Ida must search the seedy back alleys of Quahog to rescue him. In the meantime, Brian, Stewie, and Rupert get involved in a most unusual love triangle because Stewie finds another stuffed animal and he's basically betraying Rupert. And then once Brian had Rupert because Stewie gave it to him, things get a little messy. <laughs> Quagmire's Quagmire is a really good episode. Really enjoyed it. I thought it had a great storyline. The writing was really good. I thought the jokes, for the most part, were really funny, as Family Guy should. It should be able to make you laugh. It has a pretty dark topic in this storyline. It's interesting how, as of late, Family Guy uses dark topics. This episode can be a little bit dark. Nowhere near as dark as that episode with Quagmire's sister and her getting beaten up, like... In my opinion, that's the darkest episode of Family Guy of all time, and I love that episode. This episode does not compare to that episode, but still, it does have its moments of being at least a little dark, and I gotta admit how that was handled was what was really impressive to me. I enjoyed for the most part how they dealt with the topic. There's a subplot with Stewie rejecting Rupert and not loving him, so he gave Rupert to Brian, and then you saw Brian playing with Rupert, <laughs> and it's a little love triangle. It's the weirdest love triangle you could possibly ever see, but I gotta say, it was a very entertaining subplot. I was laughing my ass off with the subplot. I enjoyed it a little more than the main plot, to be honest. I just enjoyed the subplot a whole lot. It really was very funny, and how the subplot ended cracked me up as well. My only problem is that here and there, the jokes aren't very good. They don't make me laugh. They could have been better. I thought the episode could get a little boring. A few times, I felt like the episode was getting dragged. And I also thought the ending was extremely rushed. Like, wow, the episode couldn't find the right time to take care of that certain event. Because that certain event happens later in the final three minutes of the episode, which I didn't expect. I don't want to spoil what happens near the end. I don't want to spoil what event should have happened earlier than the final three minutes. But I gotta say, it felt really out of place. It was really rushed. And it kind of took me out of the this whole dark topic episode. Like, I was like, whoa, this episode's a bit dark and this and that. But how the ending was played out, the execution was very lackluster. It was a bit of a letdown to me. I wish that they got to that event earlier than just the final three minutes of the episode because that would have given more time to stretch out the storyline a little more in my opinion. Overall, Quagmire's Quagmire is a really good episode. It does a well done job for the most part dealing with this dark topic. Not Family Guy's darkest episode, but there are times where it could be just a bit dark. There are very funny moments. Really love the subplot with the unusual love triangle with Stewie, Rupert, and Brian. Very creative. One of the best Brian Stewie subplots in my opinion. I'm going to give this episode an 8 out of 10. Really good. Now we go into the American Dad episode, 
buck wild. This episode's about when Steve needs to prove to Stan that he is a man. Uh, how many episodes are we gonna see stuff like that? Like seriously, that's ridiculous. They go into their hunting season and to prove that they uh, that Steve is a man, Steve has to try to kill a deer. Steve tries to attempt to kill a deer, but once he saw how cute the deer was, he decided not to kill the deer. But then, problem occurs when he accidentally shot a bullet up in the air, and that deer happened to be up on a tree, fell down, killed the deer that Steve was almost going to kill. They both died, and then it turned out that those deers were the baby deer's parents. And so, Steve basically decides to just run off from home and take care of the baby deers and raise them. Buck Wild is a great episode. Very enjoyable. Very well written. Very great storyline. Very funny moments. The whole thing with Steve feeling extremely guilty about killing those deers and the fact that they had babies, I thought... That was handled very well. It was sad to see those deers die, and we all know Steve did not mean it. But it was a little bit sad, and I got a little bit sad when I saw that, to be honest. I know it's just a cartoon, but I don't know. For some reason, I just got a little bit sad when that event happened. There's a subplot where Roger and Klaus, they go on their non-stop driving adventure so they could beat the world record, and literally, they drive non-stop no bathroom breaks or anything. Roger says literally the only stop they will make is like a drive through to the fast food places. And that's it. I enjoyed that subplot. <laughs> oh gosh, that subplot. <sighs> All I gotta say about that is it was something else. I was laughing hard with the subplot. The episode has clever writing. It's got a clever storyline. A very funny moments indeed. Really impressed overall how it was done. I didn't like Stan. How he wanted Steve to shoot the deers to prove he is a man. I thought Stan was really cruel about this whole deer shooting thing as well as everyone else there. They were jerks. I didn't like it. A couple of moments. The episode was a little bit boring for me. This whole recycle thing where Steve has to prove to Stan he is a man. That bugs me. How many times does Steve have to prove to Stan he is a man? We've seen that a lot of times in this series, and it gets a little tiring. This episode was really good. I did enjoy how Steve proved to Stan he was a man, and I really love the overall message of what it takes to be a true man. That was really well done, too, by the way. But... It, it was just very recycled with the whole, oh, Steve has to try to prove to Stan that he is a man. It just, it kind of pisses me off a bit. I'm not going to lie there. I think it's a really clever episode, and I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.